A family brought together by faith and given superpowers through the miracle of modern science. Solar control and that rocket, and I will have it. Right now, ready? Fire! <laughs> Just as we figured, Scarab. I bet Scarab wasn't expecting us. Just as I expected. <laughs> the Bionic Six. <laughs> oh my. All right, love. Let's see how good a shot you are. <laughs> Okay, team, let's make it a bionic field day. Everybody, try maneuver now. Okay, sport one, erase Garrett's control circuits with a little magnetic action. Look, Ma, no hands! <laughs> Let's open up this can of worms. Look out! Ouch! You incompetent fool! Thunder, fool! You glove brain, you fool! This holographic video of the Bionic Six in action shows why, as president of the Crime Solver Society, I hereby nominate the Bionic Six as Crime Solvers of the Year. I object. <clears throat> the uh, chair recognizes Irene Hughes. The Bionic Six don't qualify. Why not? Isn't it an award for the best all-around crime fighter? No, it's an award for the best all-around crime solver. The Bionic Six never used their wits. They're just a bunch of bionic bullies. In my opinion, any member of the Bionic Six can outwit any crime solver any day. All right, then. I challenge any member of the Bionic Six to a competition. Oh, that's oh, a this I can't wait to see that. What kind of a competition did you have in mind? My uncle is Dr. Mycroft Hughes. I know, I know. The billionaire scientist. My uncle intends to sponsor a mystery party at his mansion for all the nominees. And whoever solves the mystery of Mycroft Manor will surely deserve the award. Well, I... I, uh, I'm sure someone in the Bionic Six would accept. Uh, I'll ask my good friend, Professor Sharp, to see if, uh, if he can, uh, contact them. Good. But they must promise not to use their bionic powers. They can only use their wits. You might be surprised how witty they can be. Darling, Karate One and IQ will attend that mystery party. I say we crash that little shindig. Impossible. His mansion is impenetrable. However, Hughes has built a new bionic processing unit, and I will get my hands on it. Here's our invitation, Dr. Skerritt. No, I have a plan that's profoundly simple. Madame O and I will attend that party. Oh, <laughs> darling, I do love a party. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here at the mansion of the world's richest man, multi-billionaire recluse, Dr. Mycroft Hughes. Normally, powerful force field generators would make entry into the mansion impossible, but tonight, they've been turned off to allow the greatest crime solvers in the world to attend this mystery extravaganza. There are debonair detectives, Mr. and Mrs. Dash and Leela Charmer. And here is detective and novelist, Miss Augusta Wendley. And from the New York Police Force, the renowned detective, Filthy Larry Forward. From France, the wily inspector, Anatole Poisson. And finally, representing the Bionic Six, IQ and Karate One. Well, look, there they are. I hope the boys have a good time. It looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, and I could have been there. Homework. Homework. 
Greetings and welcome. I am Wiggins, Mr. Hughes's butler. For years, Mycroft Hughes has been a fan of the greatest detective ever, Sherlock Holmes. Tonight, we will see if you can solve some of Holmes' most famous cases. I am re-energizing the force field. Now, there is no way into this house or out of it. Is everyone quite ready? Yeah, Wig Old Bean. We're ready. Good, Old Bean. Let's see if you can shed some light on this first mystery. <laughs> Not at all, darling. It's just a boring holographic image. Oh, hum. So, you want to solve a mystery, do you? Well, the mystery is, where am I? <laughs> I am somewhere in this house. But beware, the way is fraught with peril. As Sherlock Holmes said, the game is afoot. <laughs> Hey, what happened to old Wiggins? He's gone. Well, lovies, where shall we go now? Well, looks like this door is the only way out of this old rat trap. Whoops, me and my big mouth. One of my favorite Sherlock Holmes stories, The Giant Rat of Sumatra. I hope you enjoy my version. <laughs> Rather unpleasant sight, aren't they? Positively icky, darling. My sonic magnum ought to take these suckers out. Filthy Larry, wait! You'll never get them all. Besides, we can bring this to a shattering conclusion. If you get my drift. Sure, kid. You don't have to draw me a picture. <laughs> Next time I go to a party, I'm checking the guest list. Ah, good thinking, kid. Laura, now what? I think it might be a good idea to uh, follow the rats. What a perfectly ghastly notion, darling. Miss Wembley's got a point. The rats could lead us out of here. It's Professor Sharp. Bionic One Sharp here. I have an emergency. It's the mystery party. What's wrong, Professor? Two of the guests were locked in their hotel rooms by Scarab and Madame O. They're definitely at that mystery party in disguise. We must warn IQ and Karate One. I've tried to radio them, but I can't get a signal through the force field that surrounds the house. Then we're going to have to smash our way in. Ready, team? Bionics, See any signs of those filthy rodents? Well, I do. Look at that. You're right, kid. I smell a rat. It looks like a museum. Fantastic. It is like a day louvre. Don't touch anything. Calm down, kid. There might be a clue in here. Besides, if you let this place get to you, you'll go batting. Yeah. <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. The case of the Sussex Vampire. It's a Sherlock Holmes story. IQ, look out! So, crime solvers, you have destroyed my mechanical bat. Excellent. But it seems you've lost one of your players. Filthy Larry! Forget him! It's time to find the blue carbuncle, if you dare. The blue what? The blue carbuncle, a large priceless gem that Sherlock Holmes once discovered. This bust of Napoleon, it is, uh, how you say, uh, phony, a baloney. Nice work, Inspector Poisson. Sherlock Holmes once found a diamond in a bust of Napoleon. <laughs> so much for that idea. 
Oui, this bust is a bust. Perhaps not. Look here. Looks like a bunch of little guys dancing. Dancing, that's it. We must find a ballroom. Karate One, you're brilliant. Simple deduction, really. My magnetic power ought to smash this force field. You okay? I must have got hit by a pitch. That force field is stronger than we figured. Sounds like bionic link time. Good idea, Mother One. Bionic link! link, link. I've heard of parties that are hard to get into, but this is too mega much. There it is, the blue carbuncle. Isn't it a lovely bubble? Something tells me that bubble is trouble. Everybody, out of here! That's divinely. Dear me! Oh, oh, dear! Oh, my! Oh, ah! I've got a gem of an idea. Come on, everybody. We all made it. No, uh, Miss Wembley. She is, uh, how you say, uh, missing. Well, she was in the ballroom a moment ago. Speckled band? I think Rock One is one of their records. Not that kind of a band. Mycroft was referring to another Sherlock Holmes story about a... Snake? Oh, you know the story. No, darling, but I know a snake when I see one. Oh, I detest reptiles, especially hungry ones. Here, Slim, chew on this. <laughs> uh -huh. The old gagging snake gag. Brilliant, Holmes. You haven't won yet, my crime-solving friends. Beware! Beware the red-headed league! Doesn't seem to be any way to get inside. Hey, I know how to communicate with IQ and Karate One. You do? If I connect my telecommunicator to the sonic blaster, it'll boost the power, right? That's, That's right. right! Lively little group, aren't they? Yeah, I do not recognize this coat of arms. And why are all their helmets red, darling? Red? Everybody run! What's wrong? There's just a bunch of stuffed shirts. Remember my cross word? Beware the red-headed league! How you say, uh, Elvin? Oh, yes, uh, Elvin! They've got Inspector Poisson! Good grief, no manners at all. I don't need bionics for you, Red. Just good old-fashioned martial arts. Key! <laughs> Song. Look! Sherlock Holmes played an old violin like that. Beware, beware. Huh? Play it again, Sam. Beware the Hound of the Baskervilles. The Hound of the Baskervilles? Holmes' most famous case. Speaking of hounds... Remember, no bionics. Look out! Easy, fun. Whoa! Wouldn't you? Whoops! Just like a nice yeah. doggy bone. Whoa! Nice doggy. Nice doggy. Just like a glass sword. What did you do, bad dog? Bad dog. Follow him! Now, where did that mongrel go? Hmm. This is curious. Paint. Some sort of red enamel. IQ, look at this stuff. That's latex rubber. There must be a secret doorway. Oh, look. VR. <laughs> Wonder what it means. Sherlock Holmes had VR in his apartment walls at 221B Baker Street. VR stands for Victoria Regina. She was Queen of England at the time. Amazing, Holmes, amazing. Will you come off at Karate One?
Well, darlings, I think I've solved the mystery. That latex on Karate One's clothes came from this mask. And underneath, I'm certain we'll find my Croft Hughes. <gasps> Wiggins? Yes, I admit, it's me. No, I'm afraid it isn't. This chip of red enamel came off during the sword fight. It's fingernail polish, isn't it? <laughs> Miss Hughes. <gasps> Astounding, Holmes. I mean, IQ. But why the masquerade, Miss Hughes? My uncle's bionic experiment killed him. It made me hate bionics. I wanted to prove that you heroes were nothing without your bionics. I was wrong. But now we're all doomed. Why? What's happened? My uncle's mind pattern is a computer's operating system. It controls everything in this mansion. When I tried to program my hate for bionics into the memory banks, it created a malfunction. The computer doesn't realize this is only a game. The house is going to blow up. Oh, no! Karate One, come in! Come in, Karate One! It's Rock One. I'm online, Rock One. Oh, for bad news, Karate One. Garib and Madame Muller in the mansion disguised as two detectives. You're kidding. Which two detectives? <laughs> Rock One, do you copy? Come in, Rock One. Well, IQ and I know it's not us. You don't suspect us. Oh, all the cheek. Just hold it right there, Scarab. Karate One, wait. Let us go. Stop. I will blast everyone. That's Kenneth Skinny. Filthy Larry and Miss Wembley. Or should we say Scarab and Madame O? Yeah, why don't you? Hail, Scarab! Oh, getting out of those pitiful traps was child's play. I want that bionic central processing unit. Here, chubby, catch. <laughs> Irene triggered the self-destruct. This house is gonna blow now! Let's go. Time for the visiting team to score. Scarab got away with that gizmo. Never mind that now. We've got to get these people out of here. Merci, merci beaucoup. Come on, Mr. Poison. IQ, you OK? We're all OK. Let's get out of here. Congratulations, boys. And well deserved. Of course. My trusted old friend Watson here was on some small assistance. Holmes, uh, I mean, JT, I just remembered Scarab got away with the bionic power unit. <laughs> no, Watson, when I realized Dr. Scarab, my arch nemesis, was involved, I exchanged it for a duplicate. And now, to the bid, uh, goes to spoils. Uh, activate the bionic power unit. I said, activate the bionic power unit. <laughs> Amazing, J.D. How'd you ever manage it? Elementary, my dear Bunchy. Elementary. 